Hello everyone, welcome back with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you if you're having this type of problem on your iPhone device. So if you're having this type of problem on your iPhone device, contact iTunes Store support to complete the transaction. So if you're having this type of issue on your iPhone device, then here in this video, I'll show you how you can easily fix this problem and how you can easily resolve this problem on your iPhone or iPad device. So now let's get started how you can fix this problem. First of all, here you'll have to close this tab. After that, first of all, here you'll need to open settings on your iPhone device. Then first of all, here you'll need to tap on your Apple ID profile. Then here you'll need to tap on payment and shipping and here make sure that you have entered correct payment method on your iPhone or iPad device. Here if you have entered correct payment method, then here you'll have removed the old payment method from your iPhone device and re-enter the payment method again and after that check the problem fixed or not. Then here you need to again tap on your Apple ID profile. Then here you'll have to scroll up. Then here you will need to sign out your Apple ID from your iPhone or iPad device. Then after go back again and here you need to again open settings. Then scroll down then tap on general. Then again scroll down. Then here you need to tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Then tap on reset. Then tap on reset network settings. After that enter your iPhone passcode. Then here you'll need to go back again. Again open your Apple ID settings. And here you'll have to sign in your Apple ID again on your iPhone iPad device and check that the problem fixed or not. So if you're having still this problem, then move to the next section. Again, here you need to close this tab. Then here you'll have to force restart your iPhone device by tapping on the volume up button and the volume down, then press the power button until Apple logo appears. So after that, here you'll need to again open settings on your iPhone device. Then scroll down and then here you need to tap on screen time. Then here, scroll down and tap on content and browse restrictions. Then here, you need to turn on this toggle. Then here's the option of iTunes apps to purchase it. Tap on this. And here, make sure that all the options are allowed from here. And here, select always require. Then after I go back again and check that a problem fixed or not. So if you're having still this problem, then here, move to the next solution. Again, open App Store on your iPhone or iPad device. Then here, you need to tap on your Apple ID profile and here you will need to tap on purchase history and here make sure that you have not pending purchases on your iPhone or iPad device. So after that check the problem fixed or not. So if you have still this problem then here you will have to again open settings on your iPhone device. Then scroll down then tap on general. Then tap on soft update and here make sure that you are using an updated version of iOS. If you are not using an updated version of iOS then here you will have to update your iPhone device to the latest version iOS 18.1. So after that, after all these settings, hopefully your problem will be fixed and you'll be able to resolve this problem on your iPhone or iPad device. So that's it from this video. Hopefully you like this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video.